everybody? Y'all there? Holy shit, 31? When the fuck did that happen? Hey, Apple! Are, are you ready for a whole day stream? Just until we finish this game. Hey, to make sure you can hear me right. Like, you can hear me okay? Hey, real quick, Apple, can you hear me okay? Because we had problems with that uh, last stream. And can you hear my fan? Kick ass. All right. All right, and we're just going to start a new game. Like, the whole idea today is just to play the entire game from beginning to end. So, woo! Um, we're going to go with normal, because I don't want to take forever on a potentially future hard boss. I'm going to get that to the stream levels. Uh... Yeah. Do you remember when games used to have you adjust gamma and all that inside the game? Do they still do that? Time is not only... oh, okay. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Fire. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. Guard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? There's something wrong. Something wrong? Rob! Oh, no! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Corruption. Corruption? It's killing me! Wonderland is destroyed! My mind is in ruins! Forget it, Alice. Lock that dream. Wake at the sound. There. Better now, Alice. My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. 
will choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memory. I'll set you free. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our housekeeper. Very well, Doctor. Let's forget her, shall we? The past is dead, shall we? I actually don't know. I do know that you can adjust gamma in Minecraft. Huh. Uh, don't you just hate it when your face gets ripped off by goo pants? I know, right? It's just every friggin' night, goo pants. It's just... It gets old after a while, you know? Alright. Um... I tried to adjust the mouse sensitivity to where it's not, like, so bad. But unlike the first game, you can't adjust the mouse sensitivity in this game. I think it was console first in terms of the sequel. Got the boys' room. Someone has dyslexia. I'm allowed to make that joke. Not me, but my sister. Um, as you walk around the real world, people will make comments and Alice will make snarky comments back because that's what she does. Uh, let's see here. By the way, lovely furniture for a child's room right there. Every child's room needs a dead fish skeleton. Let's see, we got scary man in a top hat that will reoccur later we got a demon probably will reoccur later definitely occurred in the first game we got playing cards that move around under your feet because why not actually that's really cool Monday's wash day. it's your bed not mine My story is to- do I- do I- should I do an accent? What do you think? My stories to the children bear fruit. Bear strange fruit. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. Yeah, no. I can't do that. So how that works? Your sister has dyslexia so you can make jokes about it? I mean... Mmm... I'm sure it's not quite how it works, but... Hmm. It might offend, uh, ignore me, because I was raised pretty insensitively, whatever the word is, so I tend to be insensitive myself on accident. Not like in an offensive way, like, my parents never said anything offensive, and they did watch what they said, but it was just one of those things where I didn't get the right emotional support, so I'm bad at, you know, sympathizing and empathizing correctly. Eh. I'm a nutter. <laughs> I'm glad how they acknowledge that if you're wandering around, that means you're lost at this point. Oh, I was gonna jump, but it won't let me. We got the girls' room. Oh, gee, I wonder which ones the adult woman is uh, sleeping in. First person camera mode. Okay, so they give you first person view, right? So you think, oh cool, I can do the whole game in first person view. No, it only works in the non-action-y, slowed down real world sections. Nowhere else. That's not creepy at all. Don't these things explode? At least in the first game they do. And that's just lovely. I love the details. 
Like, the first game did atmosphere better, but this one still has, like, a lot of nice little touches that you don't see in modern games anymore. I can't look at my feet. Oh man, you got some really, really bad teeth, Chicky. Like, wow, you're just a child. Imagine, like, ten years from now? Damn. Hey, Pa, you're a nerd. Why would you need first person in the action? I mean, it's not needed, it just would be nice to switch. I grew up on first a first person games, so to me it's a would be a nice switch. So you're looking at cards in the real world. <laughs> hey Pa. So how you doing today, Pa? Are you gonna join me for my stream? You're streaming today later, right? I love how when the papers load in, they just load in like onto the floor, so it looks like they just fell just now. Abandoned toys and worn out shoes have a past, and the people who used them too. My past was consumed by fire. Why ain't you just an emo kid? That's what happened between games. She turned into an emo kid. Like, even worse than before. She had like brown hair in the last game and you know, in the book, she had blonde, so... Uh, now she has black hair, probably dyed it. I know black- I know blonde hair usually turns dark with age, but, you know, it's a bit drastic. And then she's wearing stripes. She's wearing, uh... Uh, emo stripes, so... Not emo stripes, goth stripes. That's what I think of your papers! Mwah. I'll drop by for a bit here and there. The illustrated news feed is an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at match factory, six girls missing, is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. I'm going to be back and you know, switch devices. Okay, Apple. I see how it is, you're just trying to get away from me, aren't you? Hmm. Yeah, but at least I ain't god-awful ugly. God, look at your face! Small child, I hope you feel bad. You're ugly as fuck. I mean, look at that! Look at that face! Just, mmm, nightmare face. Not even nightmare eyes, just terrible face. Look at you. Yeah. Now I can look at all the junk on the wall and realize they undertextured it because it's not important. Oh, that's lovely. Put that right over the fireplace and all that. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Okay, so this is her room, and I guess because she's like the only adult woman here, but. Yeah, to be fair, at least you get a room. I mean, you can add more stuff. I'm just saying. Eh. Oh, at least one of your uh, family portraits survived in this version. This photograph of my family was delivered here by post. No message, no return address. I'm grateful for this memento, but I wish I could thank the sender. Now, um... In case you weren't aware, there is a mystery going on here, and, um, she uses her crazy to help figure it out, so. There are clues everywhere as to what's going on. Let's see here. We got someone I don't know. We got the pieces from, uh chest and we got the cards on that are bloodied we got the rabbit we got the maze we got tweedledum and tweedledee oh my god i love that mad hatter i'm just gonna stop at this mad hatter for a second 
All right, our appreciation time over. And we got more pieces, and we got the mushroom forest. We got a bed and the Jabberwocky. I mean, I'm gonna put it out there, Alice. I don't think you're the best artist in the world. I mean, you draw like a small child, not not like a, a grown woman, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And now everyone is uh, motion sick. Because I cannot control mouse sensitivity. Hello, Umbrella. Wait, where am I going? Um, let's see here. Can't open that door. Let's look outside. And we got 90% of the views in British t land. Seriously, what's the point of putting a window here? I never got that about city buildings. Is like, why do they put windows that just face other buildings? Well, I'm sorry, small children, that totally won't become something terrible in my mind. Just kind of taking a look around. Oh yeah, I love the numbers. Nice touch, nice touch. This likeness captures the doctor's confidence. His dress is fictitious, his bearing calm. Just shy of classically handsome. He likely instructed the artist how to render his nose. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I hate how the camera doesn't change back when you're done with the screen. So it's like, can I control now? And you're waiting for the control to be given back. Not one for cleanliness, is he? Fuck your papers. What the hell is supposed to be on these papers? The doctor's secretly an alien. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's cool. You can see the dust in the air near the window. That's a nice effect. Alright. This kid has spindly legs. So many invisible walls. Hound, I mean, Hound Stitch Home for Wayworth Youth. Dr. Angus Bumby prop. I forgot what prop meant. Like halfway through reading it, I'm like, what the hell is prop? Yeah, that doesn't get any better. Like, if anything, it just spreads to America and it just gets way worse. Overwork- I mean... Workaholism is, like, a serious thing that's becoming worse. I might use the underground one day, if they ever complete the construction. Hmm, I wonder if this will be a fast travel later. Actually, I have no idea. It's been long enough. I've only played this once, and it's been long enough since then. Pension Lane. Um, since I've played it, so. Men's Outfitter? The Sod's Chamber of Horrors, London and Paris. Wine Tonic. Revive, refresh, restore. Pad number whatever. Crown titled bout to Lion Edwards versus Nick Horn. Ooh. Can we go watch the fight? Uh Sirs. I don't think that advertisement's for you, sirs. What are you two doing in the corner facing an advertisement for corsets? Hmm? Oh, a pigeon. Well, I'm just impressed that you can play without any sound coming out. That's better than, like, any song, honestly. Just trying to 
Oh, okay then. Well, you just gotta ruin that for me. Don't have any money. Hello, Dodger. Um, they do know I'm an adult woman, right? Uh, okay. Um. You'll go far, kid. You will go far. Weirdo. Whitechapel Market. There's like a white square of loading in right there. Well then. Met the Puritans. Hi. Hang off, Missy. Move along. I mean, what if I want to? Uh, well, I, no, I don't want to hire her services. She's a bit skinny for my taste. Oh, ain't you lovely? Uh, you don't even speak, apparently. Um, no, I'm good on the pumpkins and general mush. Who's running this one? No one? Okay, so this one goes in the left pocket, and this one goes in the right- Hi, Apple! I totally was not stealing, uh, unaccompanied wares just then. Nope, nope, nope. You're just in time to see the locals! They are not that pleasant, I'm going to be honest with you, and neither are their wares. Hmm. Ma'am, your cheese is, like, incredibly moldy. At least I hope that's cheese. So your cabbages, for that matter. Uh, all you missed was, um, me just wandering around looking at all the details, honestly. Which... Isn't you you missed a crazy child in a corner. The weirdo was singing. It was weird. S sir? Sir, you're not even oh, okay. Oh, and you missed the prostitute. Tough steak, eh? Yeah. yeah keep going. Aw, oh, dang, not the prostitute. I mean, she wasn't exactly p pleasant. We can go look real quick. Yeah, see? she She's a bit skinny for my taste, I'm gonna be honest with you. This asshole won't let us through. Oh, that's lovely. Aren't these, like, the best carrots you've ever seen? And speaking of which mushrooms... Actually, the mushrooms are the only thing that's looked fine so far in terms of food. Hmm. Kitty! Honestly, I would follow a kitty, like, regardless of time and place. Real quick, though. Hmm. Oh, n never mind. This mu these mushrooms got plants in them. Hmm. Maybe the mushrooms are not the intended product there. Oh, 
Oh, this is lovely. I don't think policemen ever wore top hats. I might be wrong on that. Fine then, Mr. Policeman. I love how the police know her by name. Theopolis Everett Horton, clockmaker. I'm just gonna call you Theo. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Can you hear that? It was a lady in the throes of passion. Or at least if it was a good good thing, I don't know, it might have been a bad sound. All living things die, eventually. Still, a creature's remains are always poignant. I probably mispronounced that, someone's gonna call me out. I'm not here than YouTube. Oh, see, they stopped beating him up. Or is that new people? I don't know. Wonder if we can go back. It's always nice to see random skeletons in the road. Well, not the main road, at least. Oh, look, more prostitutes! Excuse me. Oh, you know, the teeth are a bit of a turnoff, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, you're still too skinny. Sir? Sir, do you have any, um, healthier women? Hmm? Oh, well then. You're not even- oh wait, you're yawning, I thought he was supposed to be smoking something. Um, you know, looking at your other stock, I think I'm good. Uh, yeah. The elephant's elbow? Hmm. That's actually a legit cute picture, though. I want that sign. The squid and fox. That's a bit... I don't get that one. Is that innuendo? I tend to not get the innuendo ones immediately. Wow, that turned to 1 to 100 quickly. Can you hear the game alright? Like, did you hear that lady just curse off a dude? You know, I say that, I'm gonna increase the volume and then some cutscene will happen where everything explodes or something and... Following fiery creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Uh, I think it's a good thing. Though, following them here is probably not that good. What luck. Quite full of money, Mike. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home, then, and look at my bedroom. Pretty, there. I do. I don't think so. Oh, well, 
last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your new rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. <laughs> like some pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Her to say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keith, I'm a good sort, you know. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. This she can't remember her name, what I heard. I have to go again, but much longer this time. Hopefully I'll be back before you finish the game. Have fun. I mean, I hope you're back before I finish the game. I'm probably going to be playing this all day. So, have a fun time, whatever it is you're doing. Hope it's not the DMV or something boring like that. We got pigeons. A coop really is just a cage, but the birds don't seem to mind. I mean, do they mind? Ah, glorious London. So majestic and pretty and clean. And this is the Industrial Revolution. It'll get better, I swear. Nurse Whitman, will you leave her alone to send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I'd prefer she could take it back. Need a drink. So fucking gorgeous. Very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Chris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time to you, Alice. Nasty cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. <laughs> when you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in Brick's Wonderland. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Damn, he's so cool. Like, it's one thing to see him in the first game, but when I first saw him, like, fully rendered out in this game, I was, like, drooling. It was amazing. Also, I hope you like butterflies and spinning and happy. Because, well, the happy part's not going to be here long. And invisible walls. 
because they wanted to go for atmosphere. Oh gee, a memory! Let me go poke it. You sound just like me, older sister, I swear. Oh, whoops. I never noticed that snail over there. He's got huge eyes. He's so cute. I think Alice might like dominoes. I already know she likes jacks. You can twirl like a butterfly. Wait, butterflies don't twirl. So yeah, um, if you've seen me play the first game, or played the first game yourself, uh, we're in this Veil of Tears. Uh, the statue's notably different, though. Yes, follow the creepy-ass child. Again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Mm, nope. Woo! Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool, a spongy consistency. Poisonous. Quickly eat it. Nom. Hello, Ink. You're just in time to miss the very beginning and watch me drink random potion. Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool. Oh my god, I love the cat in this game. My god, I'm shrinking in the potion. Should I get the hair? Or no. But the upside is that while small, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger friend. Ah, I get it twice. First for the truth, it's the other way round. Short sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Okay, by video lag, do you mean your buffering, my uploading, or the time it takes for the chat to update? And yeah, the cat looks cool as fuck. By the way, you've heard of the sing- Okay, let me do that correctly. You've heard of the single jump. You've heard of the double jump. You've heard of the glide. But have you heard of the quadruple jump that glides down multiple times? You can glide up to like, I think twice. Seriously, this game's platforming is ridiculous. Control F, that's it. I keep finding shift. It appears I cannot handle. Aww. I mean, I'm gonna upload it to YouTube later, so you can probably watch it higher res there if you feel like it. But please stay around. Is she allowed to do that? I mean... Is she allowed to do what? Get drunk on random water potion thing that's just going all over the floor. Small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. I don't like being called a vixen by a doctor, old man, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know he meant well, but mm. reminds me of that uh, old. Is it old? There's a musical about a vixen, like the fox vixen. Ah, oh, crap. Sorry, that's gonna happen a lot because I cannot. 
control the mouse movement very well. Is there a reason to come down there? I don't think there is. The classic Alice mechanic, shrink sense. Mmm. You've heard of spidey sense, well now we got shrink sense. I mean, it's a nice little idea. I don't think they use it to its fullest potential, but, you know. Must be nice if it was a toggle, not a hold down. It's my grandpa. That was weird. And just like the first game, you get stuck on random nothing, apparently. I love how she hiccups, like a drunk man in a cartoon or something. Do people actually hiccup when they're drunk? Because I never do. Like, I had too much wine last night and I did not get the hiccups at all. I will never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. Papa? Um, as the older sibling, I don't quite understand what it's like to have an older sibling of myself. I mean, for myself. So it is kind of odd to, like, hear someone say, Don't worry, you'll get to do it soon, because I was the first one who got to do stuff. You can't look- Oh yeah, um, I think it's because I'm, uh not affiliate yet i think that like i think quality options unlock once you're an affiliate if not then i definitely need to do some stuff off camera i mean are you using chrome because we've already established that chrome eats up a ton of the resources. Like, because I hate logging in over and over and over again, because I use Incognito, I use, uh, the Twitch app and all that. And that usually handles it way better. Okay, I love the blood in the water. I would reference a webcomic, but I doubt anyone here has read it. Because it's about dinosaurs and it's... It's got a thing about blood in the water. Lovely. So yeah, Jabberwocky, even though when we played the first game and we killed him, one of his wings went flying into the air. He's got, he's just dead like that here. Ideally, it's a different Jabberwocky. The, blade is swift and the resources are watching the stream. For a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. Yep, Senno's still there. Still an egg. Get, gotta reach affiliate and before Senno will hatch. The Vorpal Blade! Go snicker snack! I love going snicker snack. It leaves them dead. As seen in, in the previous poem. <laughs> Alright, what do I do? Oh, wait, there's a little close button down here. Oop. Formal blade inflicts swift damage to single target at close range. It's a knife. Okay. I think I'm going to duck out. Apparently I can't handle high quality stream. It's buffering all over the place. Aw. Come back soon, Ink. It's always fun to talk to you. Alright, so unlike the first game, there's no secondary action with any of the weapons. So I can't throw the knife. That's gonna bother me. I guarantee it's gonna bother me. Because growing up with the game where you can throw it and then suddenly not being able to throw it. Mm. Collecting teeth. Collecting teeth. I'm not a dentist, but I'm collecting teeth. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice. But flight often just means putting off the fight for another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. 
Shouldn't my mother be the one teaching me that? Crying tears of blood. Going back into the emo phase, are we? Honestly, I would collect teeth in real life if teeth were just, like, all over the floor. Like, I know that sounds bad and creepy, but there's just something about teeth that I would not mind collecting. I'm not a dentist, though. That I don't come across teeth on a normal basis. So, probably for the better. I would have a- I already have a pretty freaky, uh, fossil collection. It'd be weird if I had a teeth collection as well. It's a slimy. Insidious ruin. Caps lock to focus. Uh, I don't need that till later, I think. Yeah, but I remember how to play. Even though I played it on console first time. Easier to kill than cards, though. Alright, anything I missed? Step stepping in goo. Wait, what opened up? She stops moving when I leave the thing. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Whatever you think the purpose of a flower is, is probably incorrect. The flower is the reproductive organ of the plant. With that in mind, it's supposed to look pretty in order to attract, uh, pollinators. It's not meant to be picked, it's not meant to be just stared at, it's simply there to attract pollinators. It is also, for lack of better words, the dick of the plant. And I messed that up. Learn to trust the bounce. Mm. Mushrooms are the same way, by the way. The part of the mushroom you eat is not the mushroom itself. It's just the reproductive organ. Hello, Link. How are you? How in the world did the first Alice game turn into uh, hack and slash in the Madness Returns? I have no idea. It's like they took the concepts of the first game, the jumping and the combat, and just turned it up to 11. And honestly, I think it hurts for it. Well, jumping, press and hold space bar and initiate float. To further extend float, press and hold the space bar again while jumping. So now you get to uh, quadruple jump plus float. You can float twice. Quadruple? Is it quadruple or third? I don't know. Float can be used multiple times while jumping. Really? Really what? Because uh, the platforming is ridiculous in this game, just like. I miss that tooth. She can't turn on a dime, can she? Does that count as a death? Probably. Oh wait, I forgot a memory too. Oh, come on, really? I'll get used to it. I haven't played this game in like forever and I only played it once and it was on console and yeah. Well then. Okay, so this is the right way forward. I missed a tooth. It's not worth it. 
Because we got plenty over here. Alice doesn't like snails. Okay, what I am getting is that the, you like the first game better. Yes. Um, as janky as it is, and as poorly aged as it is... Wow, that, that lag render. That's pretty bad. That's the game. That's it trying to load in everything. Um, I greatly prefer the first game. Uh, I, I grew up on it, though, so I am pretty biased. Uh, but it did a lot of things better. Including the combat and platforming. Because just turning it up to 11 doesn't make it better. I want to point that out. I've never had pig snout myself, but I've had a uh, pig cheek meat, and it's quite pleasant. Um, it's actually... Thank you for the follow, Uchao play? I I'm so sorry if I butchered that, but yeah, thank you for the follow. Um, real quick, it's, uh... Kind of freaky that she likes to eat, uh, pigs. Because if you read the book, her child turns into a pig. So... She's now eating her child's species. Mmm. More, Peppa! You have just obtained the Duchess's Piglet Edition Pepper Grinder. Spice up your foes. Prepare savory snouts. So yeah, I've never had pig snout, but I liked the pig cheek meat. So, that was pleasant. Keep forgetting you have to press the close button. Honestly, this looked like watermelon from a distance. In the angle. Eh. Maybe I'm just hungry. Let me in! Let me in! Forgot to check up there, too. Probably missed a bunch. Oh well. Um. One of the things I don't... It's the movie Spirited Away with girls' parents turned in pigs. I mean, yeah, probably. That's the unfortunate implication of her eating pig snouts. Oh, that just looks lovely. I'm gonna say it. Too much blood needs more pepper. Um, but, oh, what was I saying? One of the things I don't like about this game versus the old game is that they switch all the villain characters... Or not all of them, but most of them, they're switched from bad to good and good to bad. And that might not seem like a bad thing. You know, it helps keep the bosses interesting and stuff. But there's some characters that would make better bosses than others. This is not the worst example, but there's some examples later on where I'm like, yeah, I'd rather that dude be the bad guy. See, this is where having a... Uh... Wait, how do I switch to the snout? Oh, there we go. Oh, get off. Why is the pepper shaker a minigun? Because they had to turn everything up to 11 and then included the gun weapons. Like, the other ones were interesting and they they had uh, bullets that retained damage after use. Here, they just made a chain gun. Because pepper shakers. 
I mean, I'll give them this. It's brilliant. It's just... I don't think it's as brilliant as what they did before. Also, I hate the weapon reload time. It's terrible. It gets better with the teeth, but it's still pretty bad right now. <laughs> 